Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, select these all of them layers with that background and for turn to 3D layer, click toggle switch mods and click this icon for 3D layer. Go to render engine, we can choose render engine here. I will use 2D Classic 3D. Also, you can go to composition and composition settings, 3D render, and we can choose render engine here. Click OK. So in this time, let's click empty area and go to layer, new and create new camera tool. I will use presets 50 millimeters, click OK. In this time, select this first background and go to solo. Let's see. Okay, and in this time, let's go to here, right click, new and viewer. So, I'm gonna use two weavers for first active camera and second view, I will use top view. Let's change work area and choose here top. So, in this time, select this background and lock layer select layer ground and go to solo, press R and change X rotation 90. And let's change scale. We can change scale here like this. And let's move to back. Also change scale for full screen. Okay. So in this time, let's select these layers. One layer, two, layer 13 and let's right click and pre-compose add name plant and click ok and back to main composition and click this icon for turn to 3d layer ok and move the anchor point down like this and let's unsolo for now so select this stand 1 go to solo and also shadow one and select this shadow one let's link to stand one and let's zoom to here okay select this stand one let's move to up so select this shadow one go to toggle switch mods and open mode choose here overlay Okay, not bad, but we can try to use multiply. Okay, that's good. And select this stand. Let's move the back here. Okay, and select this layer ground. Let's change size like this and move the back. Okay, in this time, let's select this camera and open inside, open all transforms and create new keyframes for rotations for all position keyframes and let's zoom to this stand one for use camera movements we can try to use these three buttons or press c in keyboard let's choose this icon pen and zoom to like this let's see, choose here full screen okay let's see let's zoom to more and press c let's move to center and press N for select work area let's see okay let's press C and move to right a little bit and say two frames make it easy or click F9 go to graph editor and choose graph let's make animation like this okay back to two frames and in this time, let's close camera settings and choose stand 2, let's enable and also shadow 2, let's enable and link to stand 2, select stand 2 and move to back okay, let's see animation so we can move to right a little bit and move to front Okay, in this time, select this stand 1 and press S, let's change scale. Also, choose stand 2, press S and change scale 165. And move to front. 
and change scale a little bit like this okay and select this shadow let's go to mode and choose multiply here okay not bad and we can change this stand size with scale like this and moved up and this stand let's shadow move to here okay and select product one let's enable and select shadow one also enable and link to product one select product one and go to second view let's move to back and move to right press s change scale and move to up like this change scale more let's see okay that's good we can move to right lady bit and also select this shadow one go to mod and multiply for realistic shadow and select this layer ground and lock layer so in this time let's select this layer product 2 let's enable and shadow 2 also enable and select shadow 2 link to product 2 select product 2 and move to back for stand 2 and move to right and move to up change scale press s change scale like this and moved up like this and also select shot of two go to mod and multiply and preview animation and press c let's select this camera press u and go to last few frame and move it down and here also like this okay nice parallax and we can add a little bit perspective let's go to last few frame and press c let's change perspective like this this looks already seen so in this time let's close settings and select this plant let's enable and move to back like this and change scale press s change scale like this and move to up we can change scale more and let's open plants and select these all layers we can select all layers and click for turn of 3 layer and let's select layer 1 go to solo and anchor point move to down and clization tool on solo also select layer 2 go to solo move the anchor point down clization tool and on solo let's do this fast okay here we go and select this layer one press r open rotation and let's use expression for endless animation hold alt click time icon and right here we go one seven and click here for down expression let's see nice and select rotation right click copy expression only and close select these other layers press r and go to edit and paste so let's see nice we have huge animation with only expressions that's good so close window and let's see here nice very good let's select this ball layer go to solo and also ball shadow select shadow link to layer ball and ball reflection go to solo and link to ball layer select ball layer let's move to up let's press p and create new person keyframe go to sorry second and move to right and select two position keyframes move to down 
select two frames, make it easy. Let's see. And select two frames, go to graph editor, choose this graph and move to right and this move to right. Back to two frames, select less two frame, move to left and go to three two frames, four go to frame by frame two frames. You can press page down keyboard, one, two, three. Let's move to left again, one, two, three. Move to right. Okay, let's see. Okay, this very fast. Select two frames and hold Alt, move to right for more slowly. Nice. So, safety is ball shadow. And move to front a little bit. And go to mode. Let's use multiply. So, let's close this ball settings. And select this layer bubble. Let's enable. And move to back. Press S, chain scale. And select this star layer. Go to solo. And choose mode here. Add link to product 2 and choose product 2 press p copy all position coordinates and select this star press p and Control v so in this time select star press r open rotation create z rotation and go to last second chain rotation like this okay nice so let's close settings and select this sunlight Enable, mode choose here, add, and let's move to up. Let's turn off 3D layer. Nice. And let's go to close this second view. And here we go. We have 3D product animation. Okay, so for final, select this product 2 and press P. And go to first second, let's create new passing Q frame and go to middle. Let's move to up and go to last Q frame. Select first Q frame, copy pass and make it Q frames easy. Go to graph editor, choose graph and make animation graph like this. Let's see. Okay, back to Q frames. And in this time, go to first second, select this shot of two. Let's unlink here, select none. nice and also select this product one press p and select shadow let's unlink and create new passing keyframe for product one go to middle and move to up go to last keyframe say first keyframe copy pass and make it keyframes easy go to graph editor and make smooth graph back to keyframes and select shadow, also shadow 2, press T, open opacity, go to back and create opacity keyframe, go to middle and change opacity like this. And go to last keyframe, change again 100 and make it opacity keyframes easy. Let's see. Nice. And finally select product 1, hold shift press R, create Z rotation and go to middle, chain rotation like this. Let's write minus 10 and go to last keyframe frame, 0 and make it keyframes frames easy. And select this product 2, hold shift press R and go to first second, create rotation keyframe, frame, go to middle and chain rotation. Go to last shift frame and copy pass. Make it easy. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.